working with a company, they are based in Poland, is uh, mm. Tricolab. We're working on a way that we can do what we call a hair-to-hair match before and after the surgery. So basically, it's a virtual tattoo on an area. So when you come back, the artificial intelligence will recognize the pattern of the follicle around the same area. So then when you remove the follicle, you can exactly come and see the same area. And uh, so you can measure uh, and say, okay, in this area, we remove 50 graph, and we can say that we have a regrowth of X many percentage. Today, there are very few technology that will accurately say that, okay, we have a regrowth because everybody can say, yeah, I have a regrowth. So I'm willing to work with, uh, with the company that is doing the profit, uh, but we need technology also to measure. We need tool to measure. Things has to be measured and be reproducible for, for them to be used on a larger scale and say, yes, it's working. Mm. You know, that's how science work. You can't yeah. just do it in your own and say it's working. You know, people should be able to reproduce it and come to the same conclusion. Mm. So Fair I'm on. not just reluctant for being reluctant. I'm looking for tools because if I take a clear picture and then the lighting changes and then I say, yeah, there's a hair there and all that. Those are very subjective uh assessment we need something that really is irrefutable mm. i spent a great deal of time assessing donor checking measuring density hair count percentage of miniaturization there are very few doctors that look even at the miniaturization uh, because all that has an impact on the growth so when assessing a donor area for growth or a, a recipient area for growth, I think we are working to get tools that everybody can use and every doctor can use and say, okay, this is efficient, this is not efficient. So I've, I don't have any problem flying to Jordan and see Dr. Begudi and uh, discussing his protocol and see how it's working. So that's not a problem. But we need to, to reproduce and uh, uh, do some evidence-based medicine.